Choo! Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you all. Oh man, I hoping lockdown is over soon. I've really resorted. Look, I've resorted to a little, a little bun here. Um, but let's start with a joke as usual because you guys love them. Um, let's start with why do teenagers always walk in groups of three or five? Because they can't even. Uh huh. All right. Enough with the jokes. Uh, let's get some ratio work done. All right. So, um, today, so yesterday we talked or last time we talked about ratios and just an introduction to them, how to find them. Um, we're going to go a little bit more in depth today. Uh, we're going to look at fractions and ratios and how they relate to each other. Um, so that's the goal. Hopefully it'll be clear by the end of this lesson. Um, now I want you to think as fraction uh, of fractions and relate like ratios as they're super related, right? I wrote here like eyebrows, you girls know what I'm talking about. They should be sisters, not twins, okay? So they're similar, they're really, really closely related, um, but they are slightly different, okay? So let's take a look at an example here, and I think the best way to show it is to kind of um, look at, let's say for example, a question like this, uh, and to, to answer it here, you kind of see how ratios relate to fractions. All right, so if I was to go, let's say, for example, part one, it says for each of the following diagrams, uh, find the radio, uh, the ratio of shaded area to unshaded area. Okay, so if we look at this circle here, how many parts has it got? I'm going to write here that I can see four parts. All right, there's definitely one hole cut into four parts. One, two, three, four. Now, how many is shaded? Well, one part is shaded. How many parts are unshaded? Well, there's three parts unshaded, so it'll be one to three. Okay, for what about for part two here, right? If we want to find what's the ratio of shaded area to total area. Okay, so you have to read here from shaded area to total area. Okay, so let's see what is shaded. So shaded is one. And what is the total area? There's a total area of four. Okay, now for part three, we look here, what is the fraction of the total area that is shaded? So this one, it wants us to do a fraction. So there's one part that is shaded out of the total area of four. So that would be our ratio, or that would be our fraction. See how they're quite similar, just depending on the wording. Um, let's take a look at part one for this second shape over here for part B. Let's go, what's the radio, ratio, I keep saying radio, ratio of the shaded area to the unshaded area. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. There's actually five, there's five parts here. I don't know if you guys can see it. All right, one, two, three, four. There's technically five parts in this shape. So there's five parts. Now, if I'm talking about ratio of shaded to unshaded, there's four parts shaded and there's one part unshaded, right? So it'll be four to one. Now, if I look at part two, ratio of shaded area to the total area, so that means I've got four shaded, right? But then I have a total of one, two, three, four, five. I've got five total area. So it's four to five, which is shaded to total. Now, what is the fraction of the total area that is shaded? Part three, or well, we know that there's four that's shaded and the total area is five. So see how part two and part three are very, very similar. Four to five is the same thing as four over five. Same thing with part A. One to four is the same thing as one over four. So we just have to be careful with the wording here. You really have to read the questions. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, there's two other things that we'll be asked to do, and I'll give you an example of them so you can kind of see how it works. Um, so what color should I write this in? Let's pick a different color. Let's go dark green. Why not? OK, so what we want to do is we want to express the first part of a ratio as a fraction. All right, so this one, we've got four to five. Now, that means four parts to five parts, right? So four parts of something to five parts of something else. Now, if you think about it, what's the total? 
how many parts are there all together or right, total parts all right if there's four parts of something and five parts of something else we're going to have a total parts of nine all right nine total parts now in terms of the first part the first part is just going to be this guy here okay so that means to write this as a ratio to write this ratio as a fraction what i'd have to do is i'd have to write okay well then it's going to be four parts out of the total of nine okay now let's do this next one seven to three now this time the first number is bigger let's see if that changes anything so we've got seven parts to three parts that means that's a total of how many parts we've got a total of 10 parts now, if we're talking about the first part, we're only going to look at the first number and we've got, okay, we've got seven. So here we can see that our fraction uh, would now be seven parts out of a total of 10 parts. Hopefully that's making a bit of sense. Okay, now that was from ratio to fraction. Sometimes they'll do the opposite. They'll go from fraction to ratio. Okay, now it says these fractions show the first, now it's a bit of a tongue twister here. These fractions show the first part of a ratio as a fraction of a whole. Okay, so find the ratio. So this one, it says the key word here is it's a fraction of a whole. Okay, now if there's one over four, this means it's how many parts? All right, that numerator means how many parts, but that denominator, that number on the bottom, talks about the total number of parts, right? Total parts. And so what we want to do in our ratio is we want both the ratios to add up to four. So I'm going to start with my ratio. I know the first number is going to be really easy. It's just going to be the first number, the numerator, right? Now, what I have to think is, okay, if there is four parts altogether and I've already taken one, how many parts are left? It would have to be, for this case, it'll be three, right? Because if I have one part to three parts, that means there's four parts. It's one out of the four that I'm talking about. Okay, if that's not making sense, please go back and, and rewatch this. Um, it might take a little bit of time for your brain to get used to it. But let's take a go at part two and hopefully you can catch on to the pattern. Okay, so for this one here, we've got three out of eight. Okay, so three over eight. So if I was to write this as a ratio, well, I know, okay, the first number must be three parts, but I know that all together, I need to have eight parts. So that means what number do I have to put here? It's gonna have to be five, because if I have three to five, that means I'd have three parts out of a total of eight parts. So that there is how you write a fraction and you turn it into a ratio, okay? So these should help with the questions that you've got uh, for today. Um, hope you guys find it um, easy. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm kidding, um, message me on Google Classroom. All right, good to see everyone. Hope you guys are well. I'll see you guys next time, bye. And